In today's tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to use a collection view in Swift. So I'll just create a new project. Let's name this collection view demo. And just save it wherever you want. So in a previous two episodes I've been explaining how to use table views. And in I had two parts to that. It was custom table view and simple table view. The custom table view you had to create a separate class for the table view cell. But in a collection view you always have to create a separate class so I'll just drag a collection view in and let me just give it some constraints here we go so in our collection view cell the cell is just a block and it doesn't take up the whole width of the screen unlike a table view where it takes up the whole width so this cell needs to have a reuse identifier I'll give that cell and it also needs its own class like we did in the custom table view cell so I'll just give it a class. Make sure it's on UI collection view cell. I'll just name this custom cell and just save that. So in a table view cell, it usually gives you two functions: awake from nib and uh, set selected. But in this one, it just comes bare bones, so it doesn't really have any functions. But we don't need functions, so it doesn't matter too much. Now we can start customizing this. Oh, one more thing: we need to we need to set this cell to that class so custom go to the cell and then set its class as custom cell that's what I named it okay now we can start customizing the cell so I'm just gonna add a label to keep it simple but you can add whatever you want and then just connect the outlets to the um, this class so what we'll that and then we'll just connect this so click this arrow and control drag this label to the class I'll just name this text label to keep it simple and that's all we need to do with this custom class now we can just go to our view controller oh we're also gonna have to link the actual collection view so let's just link that call it collection view and that's all we need to do in our main dot storyboard and our custom cell. Now we can go and set up our collection view. So this first bit is quite similar. You just set the delegate and the data source to the view controller. Now, as usual, I'm going to do an extension because I think it's a lot easier. Extension view controller, and then do instead of table view. Um, table view delegate, do collection view delegate, view delegate, and data source. Okay, now we can just wait for it to let us fix the protocol subs. There we go. And so a section is, so this uses still index paths, and that's what a table view uses, and, it ha and you can have different sections, like a table view. So they're actually really similar to a table view. And number of items in section so what I'm gonna do is just make a list here so I'm just gonna make like a let uh, animals and then we'll just give it like five animals so dog cat fish elephant and we'll do um, zebra okay so there are five animals now we can put the data in so return animals dot count and here we have to do let cell equals collection view dot um day q reusable cell with reuse, with reuse identifier so that's the identifier we gave in the um, storyboard we just gave it cell for index path index path and we need to take you out as this custom cell so as custom cell now we can set that text label uh, let me just build it so we can get the text label yeah cell dot text label dot text is equal to animals 
indexpath.row. Okay, so now I can just return the cell. And that's about it. So let's run it and see how it works. Uh, I'll do it on 12 mini. And that should just be about it for the collection view cells. Now, this, these five elements aren't going to take up that much. And I'm going to explain how you can customize your cell a bit more. So let's just see how it looks before. Just wait for this. Yeah, I'll just put that there. And I'll just wait. Okay, so you can see that that's how it looks. Uh, elephant seems to be a bit too big, so I'll just put some numbers in. One, two, three, four, five. You could fix that problem with just using a smaller font, but yeah, we 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 don't really have time for that today, so I'll just put some numbers in. And there we go. You can see that they have the collection view cells. So now I'm going to explain how you can customize your cell a bit more. So if you want your cell to be a bit bigger, what you can do is click on your cell, and then you can go here. Oh, I mean, click on collection view, and go here, and you can select your cell size. So I'm going to want it a bit bigger, so I'll give like 175, and I'll give, yeah, 575. Then... Oh, you can also customize the cell's background color. So when you're dequeuing the cell, just do cell dot background color is equal to. Then I can just set it as dot red. Okay, and let's see how this works. Okay, so you can see the cells got a bit bigger, and they and they have a background color of red. And that's about it for the tutorial. Um. You can also make it look a bit nicer if you just do cell dot layer dot corner radius equals ten. I just said it's ten, so they look curved. But yeah, that's about it. And you see a collection views a lot. Like these these collection views, if we go back to the home screen, this is a collection view. So they're actually very useful. Anyway, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you later.